Tapi for those yang tak join tu boleh tengok lah yang record eh. Hmm, dia tak boleh masuk. Alright, so saya share screen. Uh, saya nak minta maaf dulu. Kejap lagi. Uh, maybe saya tak boleh nak conteng proper because saya kata pen saya hilang. Dia saya dah order tak sampai lagi. So, mana yang boleh ditulis dengan jelas insyaAllah lah. Kalau tulisan buruk tu minta maaf lah ya. Alright, okay. So, we can start now. I'm not sure how many question yang saya bagi. Okay, kalau mengikut format PT3. Alamak ni saya tulis eh. Mengi, uh, format PT3, PT3, total marks adalah 100 marks. Okay, total 100 marks. Eh, sekejap. Alamak apa Total adalah 100. Okay, ini kalau PT3. PT3 total 100 marks. Section A ada 20 markah. Section B ada 20 markah. Section C ada 60 markah. Alright. Ini kalau uh, PT3. Uh, tapi because you online. Dia dah potong ni jadi 50. So, bila dia jadi 50 markah, everything akan jadi half lah. Okay, so semua yang saya bagi dalam latihan ini adalah mencakup semua lah. Ada B, ada C. Ah, cuma A tak ada. Sorry, A tak ada. Ah, objektif dia banyak kali jawab dah. Okay, ah, so kita tak payah worry lah objektif ni. Ha. Banyak kali dah jawab quizzes objektif dah. So, kita nak tengok sikit soalan structure. Ah, so, this time your online... Ah, Your online exam ada saja. Dah dapat taklimat ke? Dah ada sesiapa bagi taklimat ke? Ada tahu dah macam mana nak macam mana nak menjawab kat mana semua ada ke? Ada tak? Hello. Saya cakap seorang ke? Tak, tak ada. Tak tahu lagi. Ha, okay. Tak tahu lagi. So kita pun tengah tunggu Cik Muzamir buat the flow chart uh, macam mana. Tapi ada uh, dah, dah korang dah ada Google account dah ke? Google ke? Oh, Gmail. Account Gmail. Ada Cikgu. Semua orang dah buat dah ke? Hmm? Dah buat ke? Dah Cikgu. Dah. Ya. Buat guna nama masing-masing kan? Boleh lah guna nama you all. Korang buat guna apa? Nama apa? Ha, korang jangan guna nama apa? Ha, comel. Ha, apa? Fantastic girl. Ha, tak boleh. Kan? Mesti guna nama sendiri. Nama sendiri. Kalau tidak macam mana saya nak kenal? Mana saya kenal siapa fantastic girl? Okay, so uh, saya tak tahulah you dah tahu ke informasi ni ke apa. Tapi the first is you kena ada Gmail account kan? Uh, account Gmail. So mesti menggunakan nama awak lah. So that nanti senang saya nak tahu siapa. Okay, so kalau ikutkan uh, kalau science objektif dia akan bagi dalam Google Forms. Uh, structure pun saya rasa you akan jawab dalam Google Forms. Uh, tapi kalau AC... Okay, so AC you kena submit dekat Teams. Right, so nanti my uh, every teachers atau kita akan letakkan di Teams ini tapi kita akan buat macam assignment. Well, kita buat assignment apa hari tu? Amal uh, eksperimen ke? Atau sama tip assessment yang kita assign you by class. Ingat tak? Ingat juga. Ah, so... Uh, saya dengan Cik Gusha dah bincang mungkin nanti nanti kita akan tak limatkan jugalah sikit dekat awak sebelum exam. Benda ni tolong record. Okey ni. Dan record. Uh, so uh, nanti kita akan bagi tak limat sikit kalau Cik Muzami tak ada tak limat ke apa. So untuk AC tu kita akan suruh you tak uh, submit di Teams tapi mengikut kelas supaya Senang cikgu awak nak tanda. Kalau you letak dekat open ke bersepah-sepah salah nanti saya tak jumpa. Macam ni saya nak tanda. Okay. Alright. Itu saja untuk exam. Okay. Kita proceed terus nanti lambat tak siap. Okay. Section B. Ini adalah section B. Okay. Section B soalan sebenarnya senang. Section B you kena score full marks. Okay. I'm not sure how is it you cara menjawab nanti. Tapi section B jawapan dah ada. Tinggal nak match. Tinggal nak 
circle tapi kat, uh, online tak boleh lah nak match nak circle kan. Okay ada cara yang lain lah. Uh, tapi tak susah lah sepatutnya bukan because jawapan tu dah ada tinggal nak pilih saja. Okay. So number one acids and alkalis can be found in various substances used in our daily life. Circle two acidic substances they are used in daily life. Which one? Which one guys? Jawab je siapa nak jawab. Saya malas nak panggil nama ni. Hello. Kalau you lambat nanti lambat habis ni. Vinegar. Vinegar. Lagi satu. Carbonated drinks. Yes. Carbonated drinks. Thank you for those yang jawab. Besar pahala ni tau. Nanti Allah bantu untuk jawab exam nanti. Okay. Yes. Vinegar and carbonated drinks. Okay. That is the acidic substances. Uh, yang lain tu akali lah. Okay. And then next. Uh, the diagram below shows a pH scale used to show the pH values. So of course you tahu P ni adalah apa? P ni adalah asid ke akali? Okay so acid. P is acid. Uh, minta maaf tulis yang buruk. Tulis yang buruk tak ada pen. Allah tahu pentingnya ada pen tu ya. Uh, P is akali. So P is apa acid? Which one? Juice tomato. Tomato juice and then another one uh, Q is? Baking soda. Baking soda. So it's very easy eh. This section B is very easy sebenarnya. So you kena score for marks. Section B and objective kena score. Alright then mark the uh, mark or tick the correct properties of an acid. So acid which one? Tick which sour. One? It's sour. Lagi? Reacts Kenapa? with metal. Yes, reacts with metals. Okay, pH more value, uh, pH value more than 7 that is akali and then red limus paper blue that is akali also. So, kalau acid, it turns from uh, blue to red. Okay, next, neutralization. Okay, neutralization plays an important rules, role in our daily life. Okay, so there is a slick lime. So, what is the function of slick lime? Atau what is the, why we use slick lime tu? Buat apa slick lime tu? Untuk apa letak slick lime? To reduce. To reduce. Tak boleh tulis ni eh, kalau tulis panjang. To reduce acidity. Ah, okay. So I think I, I, uh, uh, saya tahu macam mana nak buat. Saya kena buat kotak. Um, this card. Okay, saya rasa saya kena buat kotak. Insert. Then saya can. Saya boleh tulis kat sini. Okay. So what is the function of slate line? To reduce acidity. Apa? Of soil. Okay, to reduce acidity of soil. Okay, and then what is the function of next? Layman. Ha, dia tengah buat apa tu? Lea, dia tengah buat apa ni? Sorry, mau tengok hmm. lima kelas. Mau tahu. Sorry, mau kelas. Uh, Layman is what function of Layman? Mau tengok internet dah ni. Hello, dengar tak? Internet saya problem dah. Dengar tak? Dengar Hikmah. Dengar Cikgu. Oh. So, okay, what is the function of lemon? Dia tengah buat apa tu? Dia tengah buat apa tu gambar tu? Masak Cikgu. Dia tengah masak. Okay, dia tengah masak. Masak ikan kan? So, what is the function you perah lemon dekat ikan? Uh, to get rid of this man. Nasty, ah, nasty fish, fish, nasty fish, nasty fish smell. Okay, alright, nah, nak hilangkan bau ikan. Okay, nak hilangkan bau ikan. Okay, so itu function lemon. Kita perah-perah limau kan? kita perah asal limau kan? Ha, sebab kita nak hilangkan bau ikan. So apa dia buat tu? 
take antacid pill. Kenapa tu antacid pill? Why? Why? Kenapa dia ambil antacid pill? Apa? Apa? Neutralize acid. Neutralize excess acid. Ah, ni kalau orang gastric ke kan? Maksudnya bila dia selalunya kalau perut kita kosong, so perut kita akan banyak acid. Okay? Ah. So kita dikata dia ambil antacid acid so kena terus excess excess acid in the stomach. Okay, that is the function. So so can reduce pain lah. Okay, then what is the function of ah uh, tu apa tu? Buat gigi ni nak buat apa ni? What is the function of ni? Space ni? To neutralize the acid produced by bacteria. Yes, correct. Thank you. Neutralize acid produced by bacteria. Good. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Ini tadi dah. Boleh? Boleh ke semua? Boleh cikgu. Boleh cikgu. Okay. Alright. So boleh, kita proceed. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ha, kita boleh besar ni pun. Eh, Mami. Kita boleh besar. Sekejap ya. Yeah. Okay, ini ni boleh, ni boleh. Ini kita boleh, kita tunjuk kat sini. Okay, so this one, the diagram below shows the result of an experiment carried out to study the properties of acid and kali. Ah, ni senang lah. Okay, kita nak study the properties of acid and alkali. Okay. Ni kita buat eksperimen tak hari tu guys? Buat tak? Buat tak? Buat kan? Kan kita buat kan? Kenapa tak sempat lah? Buat tak limau semua tu? Nak check uh, acid, uh, properties of acid and alkali. So X is apa tu? X is dia kata uh, blue litmus turns to red. Uh, so X is blue litmus turn to red. Nampak? Turns red. So itu contoh apa? Acid. Acid. So acid which one? So which apple one is? Apple juice. Yes, it's apple juice. Kan masam ni. Ha. So it's acid. How about why? Why is? Of course it's alkali kan? Because uh, alkali because dia kata uh, red limus turns to blue. Okay, let red, red limus turns to blue. So why is what? Alkali. Alkali. Alkali yang mana? Ocean liquid. Yes. Alright. Okay. So done. Next. Okay. This is the neutralization process. Okay. Kita buat neutralization filtration kat sini. Ah, ni eksperimen ni macam tak buat. Tak sempat buat rasanya. Kita tak buat. Ah, eh, buat ke tak buat lah. Tak ingat lah. Buat ke? Sempat ke? Tak ingat? Last week kita buat last week. Last year kita buat ke tidak? Okay, write the general uh, word equation. This is word uh, general equation. Uh, belum lagi kita cakap dia campur acid apa. Tak ada nama lagi. It's general equation. So general equation yang kat depan ni apa? Kat depan ni adalah? Apa namanya? Apa namanya? Apa namanya yang kat depan ni? Hello? Hydrochloric acid. Ah, dia general tau. General dia tak perlu namakan. So acid. bila general. Ha, so dia kata ini adalah acid. Itu sahaja. Ha, so dia kata ini adalah general. Okay sebelah dia. Alkali. Oh, oh, ini adalah alkali. Okay apa ni? Sebab saya nak buat ni supaya nanti kita boleh share pada yang tak join tu kan. So this is alkali. Eh, so dia jadi apa ni? Water. Water. Plus apa? Salt. Okay. Salt plus water. Okay so kena ingat lah. Okay this is the neutralization. This is general formula. Uh, general tu maksudnya kita tak ada nama lah Tak ada apa-apa nama asid lagi So general Okay so asid this is water Alright 
So acid and alkali, acid plus alkali dapat salt and water. Okay, now. Eh, eh. Alright, so acid sulfuric. Ha, sekarang dah ada nama. Acid sulfuric is acid plus dengan alkali. So kita tahu dia akan menghasilkan salt. Tapi apa nama salt dia kat sini? Apa nama salt dia? Ha, apa nama salt dia? Macam kita nak ambil nama dia? Sodium sulfate? Yes, it's sodium sulfate. Kita ambil yang sodium de depan nama alkali. Okay, ha, sodium sulfate. Ha, sulfuric kita ambil sulfuric lah. Kita ada sodium sulfate. Yes, it's sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate. So, the words terbesar sangat. Kita kecilkan dia sikit. So, it's sodium sulfate. Okay, and then another one. Potassium chloride. It's potassium chloride. Okay, spelling kena betul eh. Ah, spelling spelling kena must be correct. So, it's potassium. P-O-T-A-S-S-I-U-M. Chloride. Clo. Clo. H. Clo. Right. So, this is the answer. So, far dapat? Okay ke guys? Okay, cikgu. Ah, okay. Ah, so, this is neutralization. So, you can ambil nama depan sodium sulfate. Okay. Potassium chloride. Ah, so, biasakan lama-lama insyaAllah boleh jawab. Okay, next. Okay, yang ini memang saya kena ambil shape ni lah kan. Ha. Okay, teruskan. Apa lagi soalan dia? Hmm. Okay, apa soalan dia? Okay, dia kata dia diagram below the shows. Sekejap, saya tak nampak. Korang kalau ada yang print ke? Kita nampak tak korang punya tu? Mesti nampak kecil. Nampak ke? Korang boleh. Nampak tak? Ah, boleh, boleh besarkan kan? Okay, dia kata the diagram below shows the magnetic field of two straight conductor which conduct electric current. Okay, ni tajuk electricity dengan magnetism. Okay, so boleh nampak kat situ conductor P adalah charge apa conductor P tu? Ke atas positif bawah negatif kan. Jadi kita kena guna right hand grip rule. Nak tahu pattern uh, arah magnetic field. Okay arah magnetic field kita guna right hand grip rule. Okay kita terus pada soalan dulu lah. Explain the difference that can be observed between the two magnetic field in the diagram above. Ah, So apa jawapan dia kat sini? Siapa nak jawab? Siapa nak jawab? Siapa nak jawab? Ada tak nak jawab? Tak ada? Okay, bila dia dua markah, you see. Okay, as you can see here dua markah. Right, jadi markah you, markah pula jawapan you mesti ada dua points. Okay, dua points. So, kita tengok satu satu. Dia kata explain the difference that can be observed between the two metric fields in diagram above. Okay, so yang pertama. Itu islah yang pertama dia kata apa? Okay so kita boleh nampak P ni magnetic field lines dia adalah further apart. Okay uh, adalah further from each other. Uh, so kita kata the magnetic field lines field lines field lines. Ha, saya tulis you pun boleh tulis eh. Ha, so sama kita. Saya type, you tulis lah. Of conductor P are further from each other. Nampak tak further? Ada beza tak? Nampak tak further? Nampak. Ha. So why do you think dia further? Why do rasa dia further? Kenapa you rasa dia further? Huh? Why you think it's further from each other? Ah, okay, lagi satu. Ni baru satu. Satu lagi. Ah, okay, kenapa further? Because? Because what? It's positively charged. 
Ya, sekejap. Awak bagi saya dua, lima minit, tiga minit saya nak buat susu anak saya sekejap. Tengok sekejap. Okay, okay, sorry. All right. So, the twenty lines can appear or further from each other because Sebab apa? Kenapa kalau dia further tu sebenarnya dia menggambarkan apa? Because magnetic field lines of P is weaker than Q. Ha, so sebenarnya kalau dia rapat ni maksudnya dia adalah strong. Ha, kat sini saya tak boleh conteng eh. Saya hanya boleh conteng kalau dekat tu kat sini saya conteng. So kalau yang Q ni dia strong. P tu weaker. Sebab you boleh nampak magnetic field lines pattern dia tu P tu rapat, Q tu jarak. Jauh lah. Okay. Faham tak? Faham cikgu. Faham uh, cikgu. P is cikgu. weaker than Q. Alright B. Next. B dia kata apa pula? Observe the magnetic field pattern produced by Q. What can you say about the arrangement of magnetic field lines if compared the distance at the distance from the center of magnetic field? So apa kita kata? Uh, ini adalah what can you say about the arrangement? Uh, ini macam you buat relationship. Tu. Okay. So what can you say about the arrangement of magnetic field lines com uh, if compared with the distance? Uh, so sebenarnya ni dia tak suruh you buat relationship. Uh, so apa relationship dia kita kata? The nearer the distance to the center, the nearer the distance to the center, to the center, what happen? The closer the magnetic field lines. The magnetic field lines, okay? Uh, alright, uh, so itulah dia. Alright, next. Explain your answer. Ha, macam mana you nak explain? Uh, so kita boleh cakap juga. Copy. Paste. So kita kata bila dia kata dia closer macam ni kan. Magnetic field lines dia closer. Rapat dekat center. So kita kata dia adalah strong okay the magnetic field line is stronger if it's near to the center faham tak faham cikgu uh, so kita kata kat sini uh, near to the center magnetic field lines is close magnetic field magnetic Feel is stronger when near to the center. Near to the center. Okay, when it is when near to the center. Kurang ayat dia macam tu ya. So, kita kata kat sini, okay, magnetic pula doh. Magnetic. Ha. So kita kata kat sini kenapa Q itu kita kata stronger sebab kat tengah-tengah dia rapat. So bila tengah-tengah dia rapat dia semakin kuat. Okay state the relationship between strength of magnetic field and arrangement of magnetic field lines. Apa dia? Boleh seorang buat? 
Boleh seorang buat macam mana nak buat relationship tu? Relationship nak buat macam mana awak? Macam mana buat dia relationship? The closer the magnetic field lines, the stronger the magnetic field. Yes, correct. Good. Okay, who's that? Is Dini. Okay, thank you, Is Dini. The stronger the magnet, the stronger the magnetic field. The stronger the magnetic field. Kan the stronger, the closer. Kita sebut closer dulu. The closer the magnetic field lines. Magnetic field lines. The stronger the magnetic field. Magnetic field. Okay, the closer the magnetic field lines, the stronger the magnetic field. Name the rule that can be used to determine the direction of magnetic field. Yes, ha, tadi saya sebut. Macam mana kita nak tahu direction ni? Ha, apa nama rule dia? Right hand. Right hand grip rule. Yes, it is right hand grip rule. Okay, it is right hand grip rule. Okay, ha, so hopefully nanti dapat membantu kawan lah ya. Right hand grip rule. Okay, right hand grip rule. Okay, faham? Boleh? Okay, saya tak puas hati. Saya nak menjonteng. Okay. Alright, so this one kita kata, eh Masya Allah, sorry. Tak tekan fan. Okay, so this one kita kata strong. Okay, this one kita kata weak. Uh, okay. Alright, so kita guna kalau ini kan katalah Q. Kalau dia kata uh, draw the um, uh, the direction of magnetic field lines in conductor Q. Uh, so macam mana direction dia? Clockwise ke anti-clockwise untuk Q? Ha. Ya, saya nak saya nak buka, saya nak buka, saya nak buka kamera. Hmm. Kalau cikgu fizik ajar dia gini, tak puas hati kalau tak tunjuk kejap eh. Mana-mana uh, kamera saya. Saya buka kejap. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, so your paper tadi dia punya arah uh, wire, wire Q. Uh, arah anak panah dia ke atas, betul tak? Betul tak Q ke atas? Oh sorry, dia tak ada arah. Dia tak ada arah. Tapi kenapa saya kata dekat atas? Sebab bawah dia positif, betul? Q bawah positif, betul tak? Betul. Okay, so Q bawah positif, atas negatif. Jadi arah current, current flowing is from positif to negative. So it means this one thumb is showing the direction of current. So it's going up like this. Okay? Hmm, kenapa lah saya punya ni? So it going up like this, okay? So this one, your four fingers is showing the direction of current. Sorry. Direction of magnetic field, okay? So this is direction of magnetic field. Jadi bila dia ke atas, so the magnetic field pattern to direction dia arah mana? Clockwise ke anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise? Yes, correct. Anti-clockwise. Okay, it is anti-clockwise. That is for Q, but then for P. Alright, for P, you can see uh, the positive is up, yang atas, and the uh, negative is in the bottom, kan? Uh, so, from the top to bottom, so positive atas, jadi your thumb is uh, showing down, okay, tunjuk ke bawah. And then this is your four fingers menunjukkan direction of pattern. So it's clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise. Faham everyone? Faham cikgu. Okay, Faham cikgu. jelas kan? Uh, so, uh, mana tadi? Uh, ni, uh, ni yang saya kata ni. Uh, ni anak panahnya ke atas. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Dia tak nak conteng. Ini anak panahnya ke atas. Ini anak panahnya ke bawah. Okay, jadi bila kita draw, ini akan jadi uh, macam ni. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, yang ini bila kita draw akan jadi clockwise macam tu. 
Okay, all right, done. Okay, okay next. Next question. Tak ada 10 kusrat lagi. Okay, oh, yang ini saya boleh terus kat sini tunjuk. Okay, ini tajuk apa? Force and motion, nombor. Okay, number one. So, senang sangat ini. Mark the entity involved in pulling force. So, pulling force, which one is pulling force? Open a drawer. Open, open a drawer. Another, oh, mommy, ya Allah. Oh, sorry. Open a drawer. Satu je ke? Raise a flag. Raise a flag. Okay, open a drawer and raise a flag. Okay, next. Open a drawer and raise a flag. Raise a flag. Tarikan. Pulling force. Okay, betul. Alright, kick a ball is pushing. Press a switch is pushing. Sebab uh, force is there is a pulling force, there is a pushing force, kan? Uh, Alright. Okay, next. Good job, good job. Okay. Alright, B. Force can exist in various form. Alright, okay. So, P is apa tu? Gravity. Gravitational force. Okay, why you said P is gravitational force? Because the coconut is falling. Yes, coconut is falling. Right, coconut is falling. Alright, coconut is falling. Okay, sorry, jap. saya punya anak saya ni kejap. Okay, tadi saya dah tutup kamera belum? Gangguan-gangguan. Okay, dan Okay, uh, saya explain sikit eh, apa beza elastic force, buoyant force, gravitation force and normal force. Okay, kalau kita tengok any object that is falling, any object that is falling, okay, they fall due to the gravity uh, or gravitational force. Okay, dia ada gravitational force. Semua objek mestilah jatuh ke bawah, tak ada terapung pun. Sebab kita ada gravitational force. Tapi kalau kita kata apa beza uh, elastic force, elastic force ni adalah disebabkan oleh uh, objek yang elastik. That is elastic force. Contoh, you main archery, that is elastic force. Buoyant force disebabkan oleh apa? Objek yang? Objek yang? Floats. Terapung. Terapung. Buoyant force disebabkan floats. Tapi it doesn't mean it floats in the air. It can be in fluid in the water. Uh, because they say it is fluid. Uh, okay, di dalam fluid. Fluid tu adalah dalam liquid or gas. Okay, gravitational force is because of the falling down due to gravity. Masya Allah, kenapa ni? Sekejap eh. So, this one, gravity. Okay, Q. What is Q? Buoyant force. Buoyant force. How about normal force? What is normal force? Normal force yang objek yang tidak bergerak. Uh, normal force also we can say is a reaction force. So this one we said is normal force. Uh, ini adalah normal force. Okay, objek yang tidak bergerak macam uh, kita ada manusia ada normal force. Any object, any object dia ada normal force. Kat atas kita panggil normal force, kat bawah ni kita panggil sebagai weight. Okay, kat bawah ni kita panggil sebagai weight. Alright, next. Force is the vector quantity that has, has what? Okay, force is the vector quantity that has magnitude. Ah, okay, this, that is the magnitude. Okay, saya kena tulis kat sini. Alright, so, oops, oops, this is magnitude. Okay. Apa tu magnitude, guys? What is magnitude? You know what is magnitude? Siapa tahu tu apa tu magnitude? Value apa? of measurement. Ba Sorry? Apa dia? Quantity or value yes. of measurement. Yes, yes, good. Betul. Magnitude is quantity. Let's say kita kata uh, you push the books with the with force 5 newton to the left. 
Okay, so we know force is vector quantity. Vector quantity adalah quantity yang ada magnitude and direction. So, saya kata uh, Ali push the boat with force 5 newton. 5 newton is magnitude. To the left, left is direction. That is mean by magnitude 5 newton, nilai, value. Okay, the SI unit to measure the force is, ya, yeah, apakah SI unit untuk force? Saya akan tak tahu ni, cepat. Everyone, what is the SI unit to uh, force? Apa dia? Newton. Yes, it is Newton. Okay, it is Newton. Alright, it is Newton. Ha, ni kena ingat lah. SI unit for force is Newton. Kalau SI unit for mass? SI unit for mass? Kilogram. Okay, magnitude, direction and point of application are basic force. In science, force is represented by arrow. Ah, arrow. Okay, fill in the boxes below with the words given. Ah, okay, number satu tu apa? Direction. Direction. Number satu is point of application. I think this is in your textbook lah. Saya rasa ada dalam textbook. This is point of application. Dia kata. Okay. Point of application. Okay, how about this? This is Allah Akbar. This is apa? Direction. Nah, ini saya rasa dalam textbook fakta lah ni. Ha, kan tak biasa. Alright. So, this is direction and this is point of application. Tak ada magnitude lah kat sini. Okay, ni tak ada magnitude. Magnitude tu nilai. Okay, right HP high pressure and LP for low pressure. Okay, so kita tunjuk kat sini. Ah, so, satu, dua, tiga. Okay, nombor tiga A. A1. A1 tu apa? HP ke LP? HP ke apa ni? A1, A1. Hello? A1 HP ke LP? HP? Yes, it's HP. Oh. Okay, it's HP. Allah Akbar, kejap. Okay, it's HP. Nombor dua? HP. HP also and nombor tiga? LP. LP. Okay, LP. Alright. Uh, that's why it can suck kan? Uh, so, the inside is air pressure. Is There is low air pressure inside and outside is high, high pressure. Outside tu nama pressure apa? Atmospheric. Yes, it is atmospheric pressure. Okay, the B1 is the siphon. Okay, B2 is siphon kan? Uh, so, B1 is high pressure or low pressure? High huh? pressure? Yeah, it's high pressure lah, of course. High pressure and then the water can be sucked into the pipe. Okay, so it can flow out lah. Kat luar, kat bawah tu. Alright, then it must be put in the higher place. So it must be put in higher place. Kalau you letak pada sama level saja, nanti air you tak keluar. This one is interesting. You can use it, you can try at home. Ah, you kat rumah kan, boleh cuba. Alright, next. Sekejap eh. Eh, nak comel sangat ni saya tak nampak. Oh, okay, next. What type is this? This is the subject force kan? Okay, a lever is a simple machine that has... Oh, I, I can't see. They help us, as help us to do work. Oh, sekejap. Hmm, saya nak besarkan dia keluar ni pula. Okay, tak boleh. Sekejap eh. Saya juga tak ada pen ni ya. Okay, circle the object that functions using the principle of levels. Yes, yeah. Crane, nail, calculator and scissor. Yang mana? Crane and scissors. Crane and scissors. Circle the object that function using the property of level. Okay, 
scissors and crane. Ada jawapan lain? Okay, scissors and crane. Even the marks is one. Okay, ha. sebab jawapan saya kata scissors saja, tapi saya setujulah crane. Ya, crane, crane. Tapi kan crane, crane. Bolehlah crane, bolehlah betul. Okay, level fakrum load and effort on the diagram below. Okay, ha, ni dia nak kata, paper kata kan? Okay, number one tu apa? Number one adalah? Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Okay, number one adalah fulcrum. Number two? Load. 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 Uh, of course, nak tu load lah kan? Load, load the paper. And number three, of course, lah, it's effort. Ha, ni senang lah. Effort, mestilah tangan kita effort. Bulan the center is fulcrum. Uh, and then it's a load. Okay, number five. Level are classified into the three types. Determine the classes of the level below. Ha, ni memang kena ingat. Kena ingat, kan? So, number satu level apa? Number satu level apa? Third class. Third class. Macam mana you ingat? Siapa nak share? Macam mana you ingat the first ke, the third ke, the second ke? Macam mana you ingat? Boleh share dengan kawan-kawan? Boleh share? Ha? Tak ingat, tak tahu macam mana nak cakap. Ah, okay. Siapa nak share? Apa beza third, third class, second class and first class? Siapa nak share? Ah, cikgu. Ah, okay. Kalau first class, fulcrum kat tengah. Okay, first class, fulcrum kat uh, tengah. First F, fakrum tengah. Ha, ingat lah. Saya rasa macam tu lah nak ingat kan. First class, fakrum tengah. Okay, and then second? Load dia kat tengah. Ha, second, load kat tengah. And third? Effort kat tengah. Effort kat tengah. Ha, F, L, E. Okay, F, L, E. Ulang lah nak ingat macam mana. Kau ingat yang tengah je. Okay, F, L, E. Fakrum, load, effort. First, second, third. Ha, kena ingat lah. Sebab soalan kau tanya lah nanti. Dia bagi gambar ke apa dia tanya. Kau objektif kan? Dia tanya. Okay. Ha, which one is first class? Which one second class level? Which of the following is the first? Ha, ni benda terpanjang. Dia tanya lagi. First class level. Ha, mana first class level? Yang mana first class level? Ha? Yang mana first class level? Fakrum kat tengah. It's scissor. Okay, it's scissors. First class level is scissors. Alright, nah ni kena tengok balik lah. Saya pun kadang-kadang confused jugalah. Ingat-ingat lupa. Lepas tu macam, hmm, memang you kena ingat lah. Okay, uh, alright. So, dia satu markah selalunya satu jawapan je. Okay, uh, tapi kadang-kadang kalau dua markah kadang boleh jadi empat kalau banyak sakit kan. Jadi tiga. Alright. Okay, next. Okay, Amira place a seesaw okay. with a friend. Cikgu. Yep, yep. Uh, soalan sebelum tu. Um, fishing rod bukan first class level? Fishing rod. Oh. Okay, fishing rod. Okay, kenapa? Cuba explain. Uh, sebab dia punya dia punya effort dekat dia punya effort dekat uh, dia punya fulcrum dia dekat tengah. Fakrum kat tengah? Ya. Yeah. Kat mana fakrum dia kat tengah? Fishing rod. Load, load kat ujung. Fakrum kat tengah. Effort kita pegang. Effort. Effort kita pegang. Kan dia kata effort kat tengah? Eh, effort pula dah. First class, uh, kita kata... Saya rasa nampak macam effort kat tengah. Macam nampak effort kat tengah? Tengah. First class ke third class, cikgu? Hmm, Fisherah, I think it's effort kat tengah. 
Lah saya tak ada dalam textbook. Textbook ada tak? Saya tak buat textbook. Ada saya. Textbook ada tak? Third class. Ha? Dalam textbook Text. rock tu third class. Third class. Ha? Ha kan? Effort kat tengah kan? Ha so effort kat tengah is third class kan? Ha that's why saya rasa vision rock is third class sebab Okay, bila you uh, memancing, okay, of course lah yang uh, load-load di hujung kan. So, effort you kat tengah and then you akan baling. Okay, alright. So, effort tu in the between. Kita nak jelaskan dalam gambar, dalam textbook ada gambar tak tunjuk? Ada tak label-label dalam textbook? Okay, nanti you pergi Google sikit eh. You Google sikit kenapa Vision Road is uh, third class. Nanti lambat saya tak habis. Okay, Amira plays a seesaw with a friend that uses the principle of level as shown in diagram. Ha ni, kan kita selalu seesaw lah. Seesaw memang akan menunjukkan level. Uh, akan menunjukkan apa tu? Examples of level yang perlu jelas lah. So, what is the meaning of level? Uh, apa maksud level? Apa maksud level? A bar that rotates on a fixed point. Okay, a bar rotates at the fixed point. Yes, correct. So, you can put that sini. A bar that rotates at a fixed point. A bar, a bar. That rot the bar rotates at the fixed point. And then, state the class of level. Ya, yeah. ni class level apa guys? This all. First class. First. Yeah, it is first class level. Why first class? Ni memang dah senang terang-terang nampak kan? Full cream in the middle. Yes, full cream in the middle. First class level. Level. Okay, and then. Based on the diagram above, it is found that the C. So, this one is section apa dia tulis ni? Tak nampak. This one is the section. This one dah section C eh. Ha, ni dah masuk section C. Section C markah dia banyak-banyak tau. Section C actually is AC. Alright. Uh, so based on the diagram above, it's found that the seesaw always inclines to Aziz. Ha, nampak? Ha, dia berat ke Aziz. Amira and Aziz having, what is that? Tak nampak. Having, having same week lah. Tak tahu. Having apa eh? Oh, dalam buku, dalam buku. Saya kena buka buku surat berapa entah ni ha. Having, having, having what? Jadi saya tengok dia kan dalam buku saya. What do you think? What having apa tu? Having the same weight. Having the same weight. Yes, having the same weight. Alright, having the same weight. Same weight. Explain why this situation happens. Okay, eh, kenapa? Kenapa? Sebab jarak dia dekat dengan fulcrum. Sebab jarak dia dekat dengan fulcrum. Siapa oh, jawab tu? Mak dia jawab lah. <laughs> Siapa jawab? <laughs> Sebab Madia. Madi. Madia. Madia. Oh, cakap pinang pekat ni. Okay, so dia kata, bagi jawab, eh jawab dah English tau. Ah, nanti exam jawab dah English eh. eh? Okay. Kita tanya mana. Eh sorry yang atas ni ada dua markah tercicik eh korang tak cakap. Okay uh, awak nampak dua markah so the answer must be in two points okay. Uh, so tu itu tips je. You jangan jawab separuh macam saya ni. Salah dah ni. First class level because apa? Uh, tadi you dah jawab saya tak tulis. Fulcrum is between load and effort. And effort. Uh, cicik tadi ha. Huh? Okay, yang ni pula. Is this, uh, okay, ini dua markah eh, dua markah. Uh, sebab dia kata explain this situation. Uh, so, dia tanya kenapa Aziz ni berat, uh, kenapa si suami ni berat dekat Aziz? Sebab Aziz asserted, Aziz pula, Aziz, nama dia apa? Aziz asserted apa? Aziz asserted. More effort. Ha, more effort. Effort macam force tau. Effort macam force. More effort on the seesaw. On the seesaw compared to Azizah. Azizah. 
Okay, then another mark. Satu lagi markah because markah dia dua. Apa lagi jawapan dia? Uh, Cikgu boleh ke kata Aziz uh, is sitting uh, further, further to the focal. Further? Further from the focal. Further from the fulcrum. Further, further. Sekejap saya tak tahu dengan formula. Aziz further, yes betul. Betul? Sebab dua markah kan? Ah, that's why dua markah. Okay, Aziz has the more effort on the seesaw compared to Azizah. Aziz also so sit. Okay, Aziz also sit further further from the fakram compared to Azizah. Ada jawapan lain? Kalau Amirah sits closer to the fulcrum? Boleh. Boleh juga. Uh, dia uh, vice versa lah. Kalau you say because Amirah sits, uh, apa tadi? Closer, closer to the fulcrum. Or you can say Aziz sits further away from the fulcrum compared to Aziz. Boleh? Faham? Faham saya pun. Uh, ataupun you can say also because Azizah have a less effort. Uh, salah satulah. Okay. Uh, Azizah has a less effort pun boleh. Azizah ke Amira? Suka hati Cik Gumi. Amira eh. Suka hati malam padam. <laughs> Tiba-tiba saya tukar nama dia. Okay. Uh, mana soalan dia tu? Dah. Okay. Next question. Which way this seesaw inclines? Mana kenapa dia tak nampak pula tu ha? Amira fathers place uh, the seesaw with his youngest daughter as shown. Ha, sekarang bapa dia pula. Bapa Amira pula ha, main dengan uh, adik dia yang kecil. Okay so dia tanya which way the seesaw incline. Ha, jadi dia berat kat mana tu? Berat kat mana? Kat mana dia akan iklan kat belah mana? Amira's father. Amira's father. Eh sorry. Alamak. Amira je lah saya tulis Amira's father. Huh, ya Allah. Challengingnya tak ada pen ni ya. Minta maaf lah ya. Malah dah nak tulis tu. Amira's father. Masya Allah cikgu mibuk di sana. Amira's father. Okay, calculate the load imposed by the person A in diagram above. Ah, calculate the load imposed. Macam mana kita nak kira load imposed ni? Ada information ke yang diberi? Is there any information? Tak ada. Tak ada. So, ajar I tengok the full question. <laughs> tak ada information macam mana kau nak jawab? Cik Gumi pun. Yeah, I think I think oh, the full question why is it there is no information there? Nah, ah lah, tak ada information. Dia suruh kau ukur apa? <laughs> It's okay, tak ada information. Tapi apa formula dia sebenarnya? Apa formula dia? Apa formula? Effort. Effort. Eh, saya tulis E je lah eh. Ha, buruk sangat tulisan. Okay. Effort. Okay. Lepas tu. Effort darat dengan apa? Darat dengan distance. Effort. Ha, ni effort. Alright. Effort. Effort ni is pause lah eh. Uh, kan tak tahu pula effort tu lepas tadi dah sebut dah. Ish ada benda pula dah. So effort, effort ni adalah force. Okay. So darab dengan distance between fulcrum and effort. Distance, fulcrum, effort. Uh, okay. Sama dengan load. Uh, ni load darab dengan distance between load and fulcrum. 
Ah, faham tak nampak ni? Kalau effort ni effort ni ah ni siapa effort dia eh? Hmm, tak kisahlah siapa-siapa pun tak kisah mana-mana pun. Okey yang ini darab dengan jarak ni dengan sini. So yang ini darab dengan jarak ni dengan sini. Ah, Okey samakan dia. Faham? Faham. Ah, Okey good. Alright next number three. Mana soalan saya ni kan tak jelas pergi. Okay, number three. Diagram below shows the application of high pressure, high and low pressure. Okay, this is pressure dalam topik force lagi kan. Okay, determine the diagram shows high pressure. Senang sangat. Which one is high pressure? Which, 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 which one? Which one? <laughs> Cikgu me, which one? Which one is high pressure, guys? High pressure yang mana? Diagram P. diagram P. High pressure diagram P. Low pressure. Diagram Q. Diagram, oh, diagram Q. Q. Okay, so pressure equal is you are uh, the meaning or definition of pressure is force per unit area. Force per unit area. Okay. Ya Allah, tu nak tulis apa si Gumi? <laughs> area. Uh, force per unit area. So when the area is smaller, the pressure is higher. Ataupun when the area is higher, the pressure is smaller, vice versa. Okay, kalau force tinggi, pressure tinggi. Uh, macam tu lah. Okay, relate the object surface area with pressure if the force is same. Uh, so macam nak relate? The, the greater the surface area, the Smaller the pressure. Boleh? Ni buat ayat tak? Buat ayat. Uh, the greater the surface area, the smaller the pressure. Boleh? Boleh cikgu. Uh, dalam ayat. Cikgu Mi tulis dalam ayat. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Sebab kita tiga macam cikgu Mi tak boleh. Uh, tulis ayat cikgu Mi sebab tak malam nak menaik ni. State the operational definition for pressure. Ha, apa operational definition? Definition, definition. <laughs> definition for pressure. Apa masuk kat sini? Ah, it is force per unit area. Tadi tu lah yang saya cakap tu. Okay, ha, it is force per unit area. Per Unit area. Okay. Alright, next. Ha, sekarang ni dia ada high heels dengan flat shoe. So, okay, so it's a pair of shoe by the Nurin while on vacation. Ha, kau pergi vacation pakai high heels. Tak adalah saya. Okay, so become soft because of rain. Which shoe is suitable for Nurin to walk on the soft ground? Ha, ni. Hujan-hujan lalu kat lumpur yang mana yang paling sesuai. Nak pakai P ke Q? Q. Q. Of course Q. Logik lah kan. Takkan kau nak pakai P tenggelam kasut kau. Why? Why you choose Q? Q has greater surface area. Yes, greater surface area. So the pressure is lower. Ha, senang sangat jawapan ni eh. Pressure is very, it's a, it's a nice topic and also it's easy topics. Agree or not? Agree. Agree, okay good. Pressure, okay. Baguslah, senang insyaAllah. Moga mudah nak terjawab. Okay, the diagram below shows a container filled with water that has holes. Okay, this one is, uh, you can try at home. Uh, so you of course are a mineral water, kan? Uh, mineral water. Uh, so you poke dia, poke dia. Buat tiga, tiga lubang. Okay, mula-mula you tutup lah, tutup dulu, tutup dulu. Jangan buka, kau buka siap-siap uh, habis terkeluar kan. Uh, nanti bila kau dah ready, baru kau buka tutup dia, air akan pancut. Uh, kenapa kalau you tutup air tak keluar kat lubang? Why? Why when you close the mineral water tu, kenapa air tak keluar dekat lubang-lubang tu? Tak ada because air untuk air no tu mengalir. Yes, tak ada atmospheric pressure. 
So here ni kita kata dia terbuka dia ada atmospheric pressure to push the water up from the holes. Okay, ha, this one. Dia tanya inference pula kau. Ha, dah lama tak buat inference ni. So what is the inference? Ha, apa tu inference? Observation and reason. Ha, so apa inference dia? Ha, ni panjang. Cikgu memang nak tulis. Tapi tak apa saya type. Saya type eh. Ha, dengan harapan. Sekejap lagi. Orang yang tak ada dalam kelas. Dia boleh. Uh, okay. Dia boleh bantu dia kat. Bila saya bagi jawapan. Dia boleh semak lah. Okay. Macam mana nak buat inference? Apa observation dia yang awak nampak tu? Observation dia? Water spitting out. Ha, kita kata tu kita panggil dia water spitting out. Tu yang penting kena dengar ni tau. Ha, saya memang cakap Melayu. Tapi bila dia answer sometimes bila saya explain saya akan sebut dalam bahasa Inggeris. So that your answer must be in English. Tak boleh dalam Melayu. Ha, so keyword-keyword spitting tu ni tak keluar nanti. Alright so water spitting out. Ha, dia keluar water spitting. Memancut ke apa spitting eh. Okay ha, so water spitting out from the water spitting out kita cakap uh, water spitting out further further for apa lowest hole further followers hole ah uh, followers hole spitting out further followers hole because because what? Pressure. The depth is increase. Ah, you boleh buat kat dalam ni. Depth increase sebenarnya is pressure also increase. Ah. Water spitting out further followers hold because the depth of pressure is increase. That is your inference. Okay, and then last one. Oh, oh. Last one. Oh, dia lari lah. State the relationship between depth and depth and pressure. Apa relationship dia? When the depth is when the depth is increase depth increase ha, bagi layak sikit ya. Depth increase so pressure what? Increase. Tapi sama dengan rho g h. So depth increase, p increase. Uh. Boleh? Boleh ke tidak? Uh, cikgu. Ha. Untuk soalan E, boleh ke tulis uh, because more atmospheric uh, pressure is exerted? Sorry, sorry. Ulang-ulang apa dia? Uh, boleh ke jawab because more atmospheric pressure is exerted. Dekat mana? Uh, soalan yang 4A. 4A? Oh no no. Um, kita tak boleh cakap. How, why, why you said small atmospheric pressure exerted? Uh, no no. More exerted, uh, atmospheric pressure exerted. More atmospheric pressure exerted? Yeah. No, kita tak cerita pasal atmospheric pressure kat sini eh. Sebab atmospheric pressure tu macam yang tetap. Okay, so maksudnya yang 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 diubah tu adalah depth of hole tu sebenarnya. So that's why perbezaan depth of hole ni lah menyebabkan pressure yang berbeza. Menyebabkan water spitting out tu berbeza. Faham tak? Uh, okay, uh, so atmospheric pressure tu it just bantu, it just to nak dia air keluar je. Tapi yang yang inference tu adalah kita nak tengok hubungan antara dua tu lah. Uh, apa? The distance of water spitting out and the depth of the hole. Alright, next. Complete the following table to compare between the temperature and heat. Ah, uh, now kita dah masuk. Topik apa ni guys? What topic is this? Hello, topik apa ni? Heat. 
Yes, this is stop it hit. Ha, ada sikit lagi, ada lebih kurang empat muka surat je lagi. Okay, complete the following tables to compare between the temperature and heat. Okay, so what is mean by uh, heat? Heat is? Form of energy. Yes, heat is a form of energy. I need to tulis sikit lah, tulis. Um, jangan malas um, you, Heat is the form of energy. Right. Okay, how about temperature? How about temperature? Apa maksud temperature guys? Degree Hello, of hotness or coldness. Was it? Ulang, ulang, ulang. Tak dengar. Uh, degree of hotness or coldness. Yes, betul. Degree of hotness or coldness. Okay. And then, what else? Okay, and then, yes, SI unit, SI unit. Why is there SI unit for heat? Joule. Joule, yes, it's Joule. Uh, so, kan, bila kita sebut je uh, heat, his energy, energy is Joule. And then, how about the temperature? Ha, huh? ni berhati-hati. What is it, temperature? Kelvin. Yes, it's Kelvin, not degree Celsius, okay? It is Kelvin. It's not degree Celsius. Uh, degree Celsius itu adalah bukan SI unit. Uh, so, kena berhati-hati eh. Uh, so, Kelvin. Alright, then complete the table with the correct ways of heat flow. Okay, so transfer of heat through fluids. So, way of heat. Uh, ni yang kita belajar apa? Convection. Apa lagi? Tu ke? Kan yang penku eh? Ni kita tanya apa ya? Uh, transfer of heat flow through solid, through fluid. Transfer heat through vacuum. Transfer heat vibration. Oh, okay. Bukan, bukan. Sekejap eh. Nak suruh kita buat apa sebenarnya ni. Apa jawapan awak ah? Transfer of heat through fluids. What is it? Convection. 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 Uh, transfer heat through vacuum or air? Radiation. Radiation. Radiation kan? And then transfer heat uh -uh. through vibration of particles in a solid? Conduction. Conduction. Conduction, yes. Betul, betul. Saya cakap tu. Eh, itu semua dah tajuk heat kan? Uh -uh. Okay, sekejap eh. So, the first one, convection kan? Convection. Convection. Okay, convection ni dalam, apa maksud fluids? What is mean by fluids, class? Liquid and gas. Okay, transfer heat through ni, ni adalah radiation. Tapi radiation ni, it needs a... Uh, apa? Matahari lah kan? Matahari. Ini is radiation or convection? Uh, radiation lah sebab dia kata vacuum. Okay, transfer heat through vibration of particles. Conduction. Conduction. Alright, nice. Okay, then. Farid. Farid is camping in the jungle with his friends on a cool night. Farid sits by the campfire to keep warm. Ha, ni kalau awak suka camping ke kan? Kira ada campfire. So, how is the heat from the fire transferred to Farid? Radiation. 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 Okay, it's radiation. Alright, so radiation ni. Uh, ni kita tanda kat sini lah. Okay, so it's radiation. Alright, radiation. Okay, nice. Eh, tapi kenapa dia dua markah? Ah, kenapa dia dua markah? So, when you see, it is two marks. Tapi, it's not conduction, it's not convection, it's radiation. Boleh juga eh, dua markah. Tapi, it's radiation saja kan, yang lain tak ada. Hmm, biarlah. Ah, tapi kan, kalau macam ni kan, you kena yakin lah. Sepatutnya kalau dua markah tu, selalu akan jadi dua, ada dua, dua answer. Ah, tapi, ini memang jawapan dia radiation eh. Jangan pandai nak tambah-tambah lain. 
Okay, I was surrounding Safil with a variety of sounds. Okay, now kita dah masuk sound wave. Okay, sound wave. We feel the sound through the sense of hearing. Okay, fill the blanks to complete the statement below. Sound is a form of energy that caused by? Ah, caused by what? Of yes, vibration. It's very easy. Okay, so it's from vibration that is caused, that is produced sound. Sound requires? What? Medium. Solid. Yeah. Medium, medium, medium. It's medium. It's medium. Sound requires medium to propagate. Medium, okay, medium. It's not, eh, tak semestinya solid. Uh, nampak ni, udara, udara ada, udara is air, it's medium. Uh, so, it's tak semestinya solid. Okay, mark two characteristics of sound. Sound, yang mana? Sound can be reflected. Okay, and then, Correct. lagi satu. Uh, sound cannot propagate in vacuum. Sebab apa sound cannot propagate in vacuum? Cannot be reflected. Huh? Uh, because sound requires a medium. Yes, thank you. Good. Yeah, sound need medium kan? So dalam vacuum there is no air. So no medium. So can't, cannot propagate in a vacuum. Okay, so move faster than light. No, light is much more faster. Okay, speed of light is 3 times 10 to power 8. While some, I'm not sure berapa, lower than that lah. Okay, some can can be absorbed, uh, can be absorbed kan? Kita absorb dengan apa? Dengan material-material yang soft material. Okay, and then state one factor that affects the, eh, eh kenapa sesat pula pressure? Kat sini sesat pressure ke? Mana saya punya ni? So, saya punya slide yang susunan dia tak betul Slide saya yang senang dia tak betul eh. Hmm? State one factor. Oh, okay ni. Senang dia tak betul sikit. Factor that affects the pressure of fluid beside death. Ah, apa lagi? Apa lagi? Apa jawapannya? Tadi saya bagi P kurs tu rho G H. So one factor dia adalah apa? Density. Okay, it can be density. Okay, and then the effect of death of liquid pressure can have negative impact on us. Yeah, can still the steps taken to overcome this problem for each of flowing aspects. Okay, ah, ni soalan AC eh, tau ni sambungan dari tadi ya, eh, dari yang tadi tu. Dia sesat sikit soalan ni. Okay, so apa jawapan dia? Kalau dam, apa yang kita kena buat dengan dam? Apa kita buat? Base. Kita kata base, kita build apa? Tak cantik. Uh, sekejap nak padam, nak tulis. Apa kita buat dengan dam? Ingat lagi tak, kita belajar hari tu. Apa yang kita buat dengan dam? Hello. Apa yang kita buat dengan dam? Apa yang kita buat dengan dam? Lupa dah. Kita buat apa? Ada lagi tak orang ni? Kita semua dah tidur. Ada lagi. Build thicker wall. Thicker wall. At mana? Base of the dam. I can see wall dekat base, dekat bawah dia. Ah, dekat bottom sebab apa pressure is very high dekat bawah kan so dia kata build thicker wall at the base of the dam driver suit apa kita buat dengan driver suit with driver suit ah, apa kita buat macam mana made from special fabric ah, okay driver suit made from special fabric why to withstand high pressure high pressure of water lah high pressure of water okay how about the submarine submarine kita buat apa 
Hmm, submarine kan? Uh, you, kalau you tengok submarine tu, dia adalah sangat di dasar laut. Okay, macam hari tu submarine tu, um, apa, uh, berlakunya aksiden kat dasar laut atau dia rosak kan? So, dia boleh hancur berkecai. Okay, sebab very high pressure di dasar laut. Okay, so apa kita buat dengan body of submarine? So, the body of submarine, of submarine must be made by strong material of submarine made by ah ini soalan AC tau ah inilah contoh soalan AC tu right ni salah contoh soalan AC akan dia ganti dalam exam awak doalah soalan tu senang Okay, then next Okay, next ni adalah Okay, sound sorry lah tak jelas sangat Diagram below shows phenomenon which occurs due to characteristic of sound wave. Okay. So, labels the arrows in the above diagram with follows words. Okay, nombor satu tu apa? Nombor satu tu adalah? Echo. Yes, ini adalah nombor satu, echo. Uh, nombor satu tu kan uh, dia patah balik kan, gambar patah balik kan. Uh, so, ini adalah nombor satu. So, of course lah ini adalah nombor dua. Uh, okay, sebab itulah suara dia yang yang dia pantulkan yang dia yang dia dia dia, dia bukan pantulkan dia keluarkan. Okay, mark the phenomena and characteristic of sound wave that cause it. Ah, apakah apa yang menyebabkan tu? Sound can be reflected. Sound can be reflected lagi. Echo. Echo. It's echo. Alright, echo is a reflection of sound wave. Sama sebenarnya. Alright? Ah, so it's echo gemma. Alright, so this is the last one maybe, is it? Ah, uh, inilah satu contoh soalan AC juga ya. Ah, uh, ini adalah satu contoh soalan AC. You can see there is a section C. Okay, section C. So, ah, uh, yeah, ini soalan terakhir. Okay, we go to the last question. Okay, state one example of good heat conductor. Ha, ni mesti banyak ni. Apa? Apa contoh good heat conductor? For example of good heat conductor, iron. Okay, ni saya kena tulis. It is iron. Ah, Option, mana? Alright, iron is example of good heat conductor. Iron tu apa? Besi. Okay, next question. Apa tu next question? Baca. Say two methods of heat transfer occurred in diagram above. Ha, apakah apakah method heat transfer kat situ? Apa dia? Radiation. Apa dia? Radiation. Radiation, are you sure it's radiation? No, radiation you can ingat di sometimes ni sometimes matahari atau api Convention. yang... Conduction is convection. Convection memang jelas-jelas ni kan. Nampak convection. Convection and also is conduction. Convection and conduction. Is it oven? Dia masuk oven kan? Grill. Uh, oven. Okay. is convection and conduction. Okay. Uh, apa ni? And then explain why time to cook those two rice was different. Okay. Satu dia gunakan... Metal container, it needs 30 minutes. But clay pot, it needs 20 minutes. Why? Why? Why when you use um, clay pot? So the time to cook is much more faster. Atau low, smaller time. Why? Any answer? Any answer for this? Yes guys, kenapa? Siapa nak jawab? Who wants to answer? Because heat flows through the metal container. Heat is what? Heat flows through. Heat flows through the metal container. Yeah. What does it mean by heat flows to? Maksudnya heat, there is a heat loss? Uh, metal container, yeah, yeah. You, you mean is there is a heat loss to surrounding by using the metal container? Yeah. 
can be but it's not uh, not good answer lah boleh boleh dia terima okey tapi sure. kenapa sebenarnya ah uh, siapa nak cuba lagi 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 adik cuba uh, because heat because heat is retain better in the clay pot compared to the metal uh, container heat is what i tak dengar apa kata heat is retain better rating better yes Spell sikit saya tak faham rating uh, Rating is basically like it is stored better in the Oh okay alright good Okay betul Tapi kan in science we must use specific words Ah specific words Can you change the word rating tadi tu Dengan perkataan yang biasa kita guna untuk heat Apa dia? Clay is Good Absorber. Ah, absorber of heat. Ah, ataupun clay absorb heat better than metal. Can be. So the word you got to retain tadi tu, you change to absorb. Boleh? Okay, so. Tu baru satu markah ya. That is three marks. Okay, and then apa lagi? Heat spread uh, more. Apa dia? Tiga. Uh, uh, soalan 1B tu 1B? Uh, bukan patutnya conduction dan radiation ke cikgu Sebab uh, dia masukkan dalam oven So radiation dalam oven tu dia akan panaskan uh, uh, tu lah. uh, Tapi saya rasa dia lebih pada conduction Sebab besi-besi tu adalah conduction kan? Uh, tapi convection dia perlukan liquid and gas Convection betul, convection betul It's, 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 uh, what is it? Uh, liquid or gas, air, air inside, air tu yang panas tu, convection. Convection adalah perolakan kan? Convection, air yang panas inside dia tu. Okay, and then conduction because of, from the metal metal inside the oven. Sebab radiation ni, dia lebih kepada api, api, api yang jelas macam tu. Okay? Tapi Boleh? Bukan, kon, bukan convection perlukan liquid je. Okay, apa maksud convection? Fluid kan? Awak uh, convection is not liquid. The convection disebut is fluid. Apa maksud fluid? Tadi kan jawapan kita tadi. Okay, tadi aku oh, balik tadi, balik pada tadi. Transfer of heat through fluids. That is apa? Mana tadi? Tadi awak oh, dah setuju dengan jawapan ni. Transfer of heat through fluid. Ha ni, transfer of heat through fluids, it's convection. You kena faham, that's why saya tadi saya kata fluids, it's fluids. Fluids tu adalah tak semestinya air, dia juga boleh jadi udara. So convection macam kita kata uh, bayu darat, apa? tak ingat bayu darat apa? Bayu darat, bayu laut ni, apa? Si, si apa? <laughs> Land breeze, sea breeze, Masya Allah Cikgu Mi. Land breeze, sea breeze. Land breeze, sea breeze is apa? Land breeze, is, sea breeze is what flow, uh, what is the way of heat of uh, heat flow? Radiation. Radiation? No. Land breeze, sea breeze is what? Convection. Convection, yes. Land breeze, sea breeze is convection. Okay, tapi you kata cikgu mana ada air. Memanglah air laut kan. Tapi perolakan itu adalah dari udara. Udara yang panas dan udara yang sejuk. Okay, perolakan tu adalah pada udara. Ha, so that is convection. So convection you jangan pegang. Cikgu convection ni dekat air je. Tak, tak, tak. tak. Convection ni boleh berlaku dekat udara. Okay. Okay, back to here. So clay is a good absorber of heat. Then tiga markah ya. Eh. Tiga markah mesti ada tiga point. Dan kata heat spread more effective. Heat spread more effective. And then so the rice cook faster. So the rice cook faster. Okay next. Point someone wants to cool the hot pot quickly. Ah, Dia nak cepat sejukkan pula. Okay, she puts the pot on the iron rack. Justify the action taken by Puan Salma. Ha, kenapa dia letak dekat iron rack? 
Kenapa dia letak kat iron rack? Ha, Afsal. Afsal dia letak kat iron rack, dia kata dia nak bagi hot pot quick, uh, cool quickly. Why it puts at iron rack? Why it puts at iron rack? Because iron is good conductor of heat. Tak nak katakan good lah guna conductor saja. Iron is conductor of heat. Okay, iron is conductor of heat. Alright, so that heat release quickly. Heat release quickly. And then cooling process occurs uniformly. Cooling process occurs uniformly. Okay. Okay, last one. Ah, ini, ini yang saya kata kalau soalan esay tau. Okay, you kena, ni just redraw ke? Jika everyone sama doctors will participate in the competition to create a solar cooker in steam carnival. She wants to help her daughter to create a model. Ah, so this one create a model by using the following materials. Okay, kalau soalan macam ni, you can draw. Okay, contoh soalan esay nanti dia kata create the model, kan you draw, nanti you akan takat gambar dan you akan upload dekat Teams. Okay, so selalunya macam ni, dia memang suruh draw pun. Ha, nampak ni dia kata draw. Okay, jap. Okay, dia kata draw the model. Okay, draw the model. So, markah akan ada dekat draw. Tiga markah ya, kat situ. Uh, model, uh, draw the model and label. Semua tu explain how it's function. Ada yang dah draw ke? Ada yang nak share dia punya model. Sasha, oh, ada nak share model dia? Ada tak? Dia bagi aluminium foils, box, lens, plastic, masking tape. Why is it it needs lens? Why do you think it needs lens? Lens untuk apa? To create it for you? To? Huh? To what lens? Sorry, to apa? To apa lens? Tak dengar. Tak apalah, cuba. Okay, dia uh, nak buat sesuatu. To magnify? To magnify to light from the sun? To magnify the light from the sun. To magnify the light from the sun. It, is it is it is it just to magnify the light from the sun? So how about lain? Selain daripada itu, ada sunsa? Actually, lens can be uh, reflects the solar energy on the food. Okay, lens can be reflect the solar energy uh, to the food. Okay. Uh, so, bila ada lens tu, dia dapat cahaya. So, dia akan reflect all the solar energy to the foot. Okay, how about the aluminium foils? Why we use aluminium foils? To absorb the heat. Absorb the heat then. Aluminium foil will absorb the heat and flow the heat to the foot. Okay, it's not only absorb lah. Tapi dia akan... Uh, Flow the heat to the food. Okay, lukisan. Macam mana nak lukis? Dia ada kerajang, uh, ada aluminum falls, box. Of course lah, mesti lukis box dulu. Uh, kan, uh, cikgu ni kalau lukis ni buruk lah. Uh, okay, mesti ada box. Uh, lukis box. Okay, mesti ada box. Uh, kat mana nak letak aluminum falls? Aluminum fall kat mana? Inside the box? Uh, inside the box. Inside the box. Okay, dekat mana? Every side of the box. Betul? Huh? Yes. 
every side of the box. Ha. So kalau you buat tu you label lah. Label macam tak esah lah terpulang. Tapi maksudnya bila you draw. Oh ni tak nampak box ni punya dalam kan. Okay bila you draw. Okay. So you labelkan dia. Maksudnya you labelkan dia kat mana you nak letakkan aluminium foil kan. And then lagi apa lagi dia bubur. Plastik. Kat mana letak plastik. Ha, plastik letak kat atas. Dia kata plastik letak kat atas. Ha, plastik letak kat atas. Kat atas ni juga you letakkan you punya lens. So and when it receive this uh, the heat or solar energy from the sun. So dia akan uh, reflect the solar energy to the food and then same goes to aluminium foil. Uh, food tu letak kat mana? Kat dalam lah of course kan. Uh, food tu kat dalam. Peter pelekat. Uh, masking tape tu dekat every side tu lah. Macam mana pula nak sambung kan kalau tak ada. Mesti ada uh, masking tape. So kalau soalan ni kan you jawab je macam mana pun. Kita tengok asal dia logik uh, we can uh, boleh diambil kira lah tengok lah kalau sesuai. Uh, and then kat sini bagi tahu lah reason kenapa kenapa letak macam tu kenapa. Faham? Faham tak guys? Faham cikgu tu. Any question? Any question? Uh, cikgu. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh, kenapa uh, cahaya matahari tu dia reflected? Bukan reflected uh, ni no, daripada... No. No, no. Cahaya matahari tu dah masuk dekat lens kan? Allah Akbar. <laughs> Cahaya matahari tu masuk kat lens. Betul tak? Betul. Betul tak? Hmm. Betul tak? Betul. 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 Ha, dia akan reflected yang dalam ni kat dalam. Kat dalam. Faham tak? Oh, aku tidak. Ha? Faham tak? <laughs> Boleh terima tak? Hello. Boleh cikgu. Ah, so maksudnya lens tu dia akan receive, dia akan receive the solar energy then dia akan reflect the uh, the solar energy to the food. Ah, okay. That is the function of the lens lah. Okay. Boleh? Alright. Ah, uh, so. Ah, uh, cikgu. Ah. Saya tak faham yang reflect tu bukan daripada ni ke? Daripada smooth surface. Maksudnya dia dia, dia tak oh, lens tu dia kena. Oh lens tu awak tak faham maksudnya lens tu tak boleh di reflectkan cahaya. Tak boleh reflectkan cahaya. Ah, dia, dia magnify cikgu. Dia, kalau okay. reflect okay, tu okay. dia kena opaque. Okay. Saya faham. Uh, sebab okay. Betul cakap awak tu. Lens adalah kita ada lens kita ada mirror kan. Okay, kita ada lens, kita ada mirror kan? Okay, tapi you kena faham uh, lens, uh, mirror will reflect the light. Mirror will reflect the, reflect the light. Okay, lens kalau ikutkan will converge the light. Okay, contoh ya, eh, saya bagi contoh. Uh, katalah, uh, pernah tak buat eksperimen? Saya tak tahulah form form. Form tu tak pernah kot. Kita ambil, rasa form tu buat lah. You ambil lens kan, you ambil lens and then you letak dekat bawah cahaya matahari. Lepas tu you letak kertas kat bawah tu. Apa jadi kat kertas? Terbakar. Ha? Terbakar. Terbakar kan? Terbakar. Sebab apa kertas tu terbakar? Sebab apa kertas tu terbakar? Sebab lens tu dia tumpukan cahaya tu dekat kertas. Ah, tu. Sebab lens tu adalah converging the light rays. Dia tumpukan cahaya ke dalam uh, kertas tu. Okay so dia uh, ter terbakarkan kertas tu lah. So kat sini it, it depends on the lens. Uh, some of the lens is converge the light rays. Some of the lens is will uh, diverge the light rays. 
Faham. So kat sini bila, faham saya faham lah bila you, uh, saya guna perkataan reflex tu you tak boleh terima sebab lens is not reflect. Lens is refract. Uh, kalau kita kata lens is refract lah. Okay, uh, lens dia kata refract, bias. Uh, so kalau kita saya cakap kat sini kita boleh cakap diverge lah. Uh, so bila dia dapat dia akan diverge the light. Uh, diverge tu adalah capahkan dia. Boleh terima tak siapa tu? Siapa tu? Ya. Yeah. Siapa tu? Nama awak? Nazmi. Nazmi, ah, boleh terima tak saya cakap? Boleh kot. Ah, boleh kot. Okay. Ah, so macam kalau kita kata kalau kita guna convex lens, convex lens is di, uh, converge the light ray. Ah, so dalam keadaan sini, saya rasa dia digunakan lens yang mencapahkan cahaya itu. Uh, so bila dia receive dia akan capahkan cahaya tu uh, Because dia kata dia guna lens kan It can be used mirror also lah uh, Mirror boleh, mirror also can uh, reflect the light uh. Alright It's not light lah, heat pun boleh lah Okay so uh, Habis dah untuk kesemuanya This is all the topic yang masuk lah saya bincangkan ya Uh, so maybe you can baca lah textbook, baca textbook, buatlah soalan sama tip practice, buatlah soalan buku-buku kerja. Okay. So ada soalan? Uh, cikgu, cikgu. Uh -uh. Yang tadi soalan last tadi tu explanation dia nak explain macam mana? Aluminium foil, apa function aluminium foil, apa function lens, macam tu lah. Uh, okay. Uh, macam tu lah step tu adalah function. Okay, oh okay, da, da, tadi Nazmi, uh, jumpa eh, kenapa fishing is the first level? Ya yeah, cikgu, fishing right the third class. Third class? Ya. Yeah. Dia kata third class? Oh ya lah third class, because eff, uh, effort is at the center. Yep. Uh, okay, okay, thank you Nazmi for sharing this. Okay, you can see Nazmi share, uh, Nazmi share, saya tak perasan sebab saya tak nampak ni screen saya. Okay, ada soalan lagi kelas. If you have any uh, any question, you can pop up in the group or you can PM us. Okay, maybe Cikgu Syah ke saya ke, Cikgu Kasma ke. Alright, so if nothing to us, so I hope you can do your revision. Okay, you have banyak masa lagi sebenarnya. Hari Selasa cuti kan? Uh, so, I'm not sure whether it's name tu ada kelas tidak. So, I have also lagi kelas dua razi. Tak tahu lah kalau mungkin kita nak buat taklimat ke nanti uh, saya akan beritahu lah kalau kita nak buat taklimat uh, untuk exam nanti macam mana. Alright, so we end our class dengan surah Tasbih Kifarah dengan surah As-Subhanakallahumma Bihamdika Asyadu Ala Ilah Al-Anta Astaghfirullah Tu Bilaik Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Walas inna linsana lafi lusinna ladhina amanu wa amin shalihati wa tawasa bihaqi wa tawasa bisa wa alhamdulillah rabbil alamin Ada soalan? Okay So, terima kasih semua. Thank you everyone yang those yang join. I think is um, less than half. Okay. Alright, bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Terima kasih.